I've got a lot of questions about Google Classroom, Google Slides, how they are connected, how you assign a set in Google Slides to the Google Classroom, how kids return the copy to you virtually. So I'm planning to make a video with all the questions that you have. Every time you get a set from me, you will get a PDF file with all the instructions and frequently asked questions. On the first page, there is a click here, phrase, you click on it and you make a copy for yourself in your Google Drive of any Google Slides resource. This is a freebie from my store, sample of my mega bundle for Google Classroom. Now you enter the Google Classroom. After you created your class in Google Classroom, you can watch the previous video about how to get started with Google Classroom in kindergarten. This is my test class, which is called kindergarten. And now we go to classwork and we create an assignment. You can name it. You can give the instructions to children and here, this is the place where you add the Google Slides set that you initially added to your Google Drive. Here you can find it. Don't forget the very important step is to add and to make a copy for each student. This is crucial. Here you can, I don't do this, but you can set the points, set when this assignment is due and assign the topic. You click on the assign and all the students who are in your class will get this assignment you know that in order to join for a student to join your class they need to know your class code this is the class code you can actually print it but right now during this distant learning time they can see it they enter the google classroom as a student this is my test student and i enter my Google Classroom using the code. I joined the class and used the class code that was given to me by a teacher. Or you can invite your students via emails. Now if they go to the stream section, they can see that there is some kind of assignment. They click on this assignment and a new window in a new window is open with the google slides set just for them you remember that you made a copy for each student here they work with the side word they find it on the typewriter They find the word in the word search by moving the movable pieces. They tap and drag. They tap only once and drag it if they use it on iPads. And here they find the word among the other words. After they completed this set, they should turn it in to a teacher. If they forgot something, they can always unsubmit. Now when you enter the Google Classroom as a teacher, you can see that one student turned in the set and you can check it how well it was finished, if it was completed.
you can grade it or you can add a private comment. This is the completed version. And then you return it to all the students or to just one student. First question I get is if we work with Google Slides and there are a lot of slides in one set, can a teacher share, like assign just a part of it, just one slide or 10 slides to a student or to students? Yes, you can. You should go to your Google Classroom, or if you bought a resource from me, you will get a link which automatically forces you to make a copy. This is my cat. And when you make a copy for yourself, you delete all the unnecessary slides. And then uh, through Google Classroom, you assign this part of the set to your students. The second question I get is how, how can we differentiate the slides? If you bought the slides from me or just from any other TPT seller, you can mix them. What I mean, uh, you can make a copy for yourself, a forced copy, delete or leave just the part that you like or like just the 10 slides out of 30. Then uh, copy the slides from another set that you have and join it together. This way, for example, you can practice um, the slide word there with different variants of slides. And this way the kids will have even more differentiation and even have more fun practicing if you have any other questions about Google Classroom and Kindergarten or Google Slides or how to use them, please leave a comment below and I will try to do my best as for uh, replying your questions or making a new video with all the questions answered. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, give a thumbs up and stay tuned for more.